All right, guys. I am playing Vanifar Pod tonight. I'm testing out a new overlay as well. Um, so let me know what you guys think about it. Um, and we're going to be joined by my friend Maurice here. Um, been playing with Maurice for a long time. I think pretty much as long as I've played Magic competitively, I think you've been around. Pretty right? Much, I think so, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so Reese is a great friend of mine. Um, and he. Well, I want to know if you played competitive before I met you. It's a true statement. <laughs> um, I played very little actually uh, competitively beforehand, but I did play a little bit. Um, it was mainly me going to tournaments and getting crushed. <laughs> but uh, so we are um, testing out another version of Vanifar Pod today. This is a version that was recently posted by. Um, uh, I believe Molecule, uh, Knackle Molecule on um, on Reddit, and this is a version that he's been pretty happy with, and he's been testing out. Um, this is the way he ended up uh, ultimately landing on with the deck and seeing what he wanted to try out. So, um, you know, the screen's cutting off this just a little bit, uh, but we've got uh, four breeding pool, three re breeding pools here: a flooded strand, three forests, a hollow fountain, two canopies, island. Uh, we've got four misties, a plains, two temples, and four windswept. Um, this is really uh, one of the things I like about this is that it's going to focus more on the Bant playstyle and very, very uh, little into any other color. You can see here that the only card that's outside of that color that we have is Kiki. And we actually can't even cast the card. Like, realistically, we cannot cast Kiki. We don't have the lands for it. Um, we have the Birds of Paradise that can cast it, and we have a Vizier of Menagerie that allows us to uh, get it in there. Hey, sweetie, thanks for joining, man. Um, We've got four birds and four nobles, which we've kind of come to expect. Um, but then we have one ooze, one scrib. Those are pretty stock now. Um, something that he moved from the uh, cyborg to the main deck is the Gaddic Teague. We also got the Kosali. Um, three voice of resurgence. Now, from reading through his post and about this, uh, the reason that he decided to go in with this is this was like the best mid-range card, right? Like if you get into a grindy matchup, voice is just going to take over the game for you. Um, three spell skites to help us with just interaction and them taking care of our creatures. Um, and that's the similar reason to why they're playing Vendillion Click. Um, Vendillion Click comes in, rips a card out of their hand, or tucks one of our cards away, and then it's just a reasonable threat. We uh, have a combo piece here with a Bell Ringer. We've got a Tracker. We've got four Eldritch Evolution, an Eternal Witness, Reflector Mage, Knight of Autumn, and Renegade Rallyer, one Resto, one Vizier, four Prime Speakers, and a Kiki Jiki. Um... And then in the sideboard here, we got two paths, one Kataki, one Eidolon, one Shalai, one Linvala, three Unifieds, a Glenelandra. We've got a Yixton Jailer. Is that saying that right? I don't know. <laughs> I've never even seen that card. Oh, uh, it's pretty sweet though. So cards and graveyards lose all abilities. So that's the way that you can get a creature on turn um, on, as a two drop, um, and then you can interact with the graveyard by just saying, "Hey, everything's shut off." But it doesn't shut off our graveyard because we want to like e wet, e wet things back. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, Caustic Caterpillar, if you guys can't see that one, that also allows us to destroy target artifact or enchantment on a one drop. Um, we've got another Reflector Mage and then a Stoic Angel. So, you've been playing Pod a little bit, right? I've been, I think you were telling me that you've been playing it uh, online? Yeah, I've, I've played probably four different leagues, four or five leagues so far. Okay. What's your impression of this deck so far? <laughs> We haven't played anything with this deck. This is I just actually uh, got my hands on the deck, so first time playing it, and Reese's first time playing this. So it's a lot of spell skites. Okay, you already know my hate for the voice. <laughs> okay, and the V clicks just seems weird. I don't know. Okay, and those are the three cards that stand out to me as well. Everything else seems pretty reasonable. Some cyborg cards here in the main, I think those are great. Um, but yeah, the voices, the V clicks, and the spell skites do stand out. But from what the guy was saying, this is the way that through all those play testings um, landed him on that version. So why don't we just jump right into it and check things out. Because the things that I always lose to out of the four or five leagues that I remember, I always lost to blue white control. Like always. I don't know. I just did. Um, what else was a really hard matchup? That was pretty much the only like matchup that I can think of that I, every time I like started playing, I was like, "These bro, like blue eye control." Yeah, yeah, and that's pretty it's reasonable. Okay, it's time scoop. They have so many board sweepers. They have so much, so much spot removal. They have so much interaction to stop us from just going off, and then eventually they just like overtake the game with a uh, yeah. contest. Well, their counter spells are just really good in the yeah. matchup, so like we don't have a way around that. Yeah, which is our rhythm. Hmm? Is good rhythm of the night. Did oh, you yeah. see that green red rhythm? 
What? Oh. You didn't see that list? It no. was like like Caleb Durd. He played it with five zero with it. Really? It plays like uh, four Arbor Elf, four Birds, Rhythm. It plays this five drop. That's a six six with Trample, and whenever you it attacks, if it does combat damage, you can destroy a land. <laughs> it runs Bloodbraid Elf. You didn't see that list? No, I've been busy. Oh, it's like it's crazy. It's all over YouTube right now. It's, we should play that list. <laughs> it looks interesting, but it runs Infernal Titan. It runs the the one drop enchantment that you can chant a land. Okay. Um. And it runs Lotus Cobra. So pretty much you just ramp out into Inferno Titan, or you ramp out into that big guy and you start destroying lanes. Okay. All right, so this hand's got two forests, Noble Hierarch here. We've got Eldritch, Reflector Mage, Prime Speaker, and a Kiki. So this hand's kind of a mold to six already because we have the Kiki Jiki in hand, unfortunately. Um, it's got two lands um, and a Noble. We're on the play. Yeah, we're on the play here. Um... Oh, the calamity. Okay, it's it's pretty much Ponza. That's what we were we. That's what we were testing out, right? With the rhythm and um, they've just kind of taken it to the next because so, it runs no Ponza stuff. Yeah, well, it's kind of like that shell though. Like it's a shell what, without the Ponza destroy lands. But but Ponza itself doesn't even destroy lands anymore. They just play Blood Moon now. No, they still run a Storm Rain. Well, the version we were testing out well, didn't even run Blood Moon anymore. I mean, not the land destruction anymore. Um, so what do you think about this hand? Um, I like it. It's only to, the hmm? Kiki. The the fact that I know in my head that I, we can never cast a Kiki is kind of weird. Yeah, I know. Um, we have the option of being able to power up the Prime Speaker as long as we hit another land. Um, we can go for Eldritch Evolution here and get a Rallier, and then that way we're going to be able to um, uh, we'll be able to get the um, the Noble back, and we have a cre another creature, or we can go get like a more relevant ramp spell or voice or anything like that, depending on. Um, what we're going against. But I think this is pretty reasonable, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird we can't cast Kiki ever. And there's not a way to put him back in the deck. There is. The Vanillion click. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah okay. that's why we run the three clicks. <laughs> that we don't like. <laughs> Alright, looks like possibly humans here. Just decent hand against humans. Okay, so we got a misty rainforest. So we can go fetch up the um, the hollow fountain here and get us all the colors. Do we want to eldritch right now? Um, What's this two or three that we got? So that's... let me pull up the list here for us. You can blow up the. Uh, you can get Nida on and blow up their aether ball. Ooh, ooh, that would be good. We'd have to give up our noble, and that prevent us from being able to. Ca um, cast Prime Speaker next turn, and if we don't hit the right color, we're not going to be able to reflect a mage, but that's going to make them stumble really bad. You could. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to not shock us, though, because I don't see the point in shocking us right now, because there's a chance we're not going to be able to cast it in the end way, and I'd rather keep the higher land on the deck just because I want to hit another land right now. So, why don't we do that? Let's hope the rest of their lands are, like, trash. <laughs> yeah. So we can't cast nothing. Alright, Knight of Autumn. And we're going to destroy... No more lands. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well let's go get a... Um, hollowed Fountain. We'll shock ourselves and run out the voice. And we will beat the boop. I didn't even see what was in the sideboard either. In the sideboard? Oh, quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. And I just updated um, Stream Decker as well. Didn't get that going. Stonic Angel seems pretty cool. There was a top 16 um, list that did a classic. Ran Worm Coil over the Titan in a 3-2 split of the Moon and Trinitor. It makes sense. Worm Coil is really good right now. Okay, so we are against most likely humans. Um, I don't think Stoic's bad. I don't think Reflector's bad. Not that interested in Caustic or Chameleon. Um, I don't want to bring in any of these counter spells. Nope. Um, we could bring in Shalai. I think that'd be pretty strong. 
And then we could bring in the paths. What do you think? Mm, I like everything. I don't know if we really need this to lie. I mean, we it's might, not so reflector mage, but like... Yeah, we might not need it. Um, let's see what we want to take out. Ooze. Yep, probably is not that it. relevant in this matchup here for us. Don't need Gaddick Teague. Do not need Gaddick Teague. Do you really need that many spell skites? Against them, probably not. We could probably trim. Like, the, their main thing is what? Just Reflector Mage? I think so, yeah. Why don't we trim? We could trim all of them. I don't think you really need them. I mean. Okay. I guess I'd rather have the, the Stoic Angel's gonna be really strong against them, block things down, another reflector is good. I think Shalai's gonna let us clog up the board. How big is Limbala? Is she a 4 4 or 3 3? I think she's a 3 4. We might wanna maybe bring her in. It stops that the 3 drop 3 3 with Vigilance and Haste in the air. It stops it in its track, basically, unless they pump it. We're also gonna have um, Shalai and Stoic Angel, who are both all 3 4s. So I think that's plenty right there. Unless you want to, like, is there something that you think would be better than, um, that we should replace Linvala with in the in here? Click. I guess, click? I was thinking Kwasali. Unless you think Kwasali is worth keeping just because I can hit the uh, either while. Yeah, I can see that. Either one. So you want to cut Kwasali for the Linvala? Sure. Okay. I, I just think another three, just a way to stop that guy. Okay. Well, then let's try it like this. That's a lot of spell skates. Hmm? That's a lot of spell skates. It's for the, like, <laughs> think about how good that's going to be again. Oh, we, this is unfortunate. We have to ship this. I've been wanting to try this deck out with this card to see how it is. Yeah, I haven't actually played with it either, but it seems really sweet. Oh, we're on a one-lander. We can't keep that. Yeah, we cannot keep this. It seems way too suspect. Well, awkward. I think we're keeping it, though. I think we have to. Land on top, land on top, land on top. I'm going to get a scry and two draws before... There we go. Yeah, we're still good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we beat them with the Night of Autumn. <laughs> you think they're going to do it again? Oh, they learned their lesson. They might have took it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to shock us here. And run out the noble. Another noble. This doesn't run. We don't have the tension at all in this deck, do we? Nope. Well, that's like my favorite card in that. Um, really? And that, yeah. Like I used to love that card. Was like putting in work. All right, they got another vial. We can blow it up. Do you think? Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know what's going on? We have nothing else going on. I'm trying to see which land is going to be the best here. We don't need double green. Hollow Fawn. I think Hollow Fawn, because we could use double white. Yep. You need double white, and you want at least blue, in case they blow up. Yep. Or for some reason, Noble gets... Yeah, I think Noble should live. They don't... I mean, I'd be surprised if they killed it, I guess. All right, so Hollow Fawn. Shock ourselves. And we're going to blow it up. Like a tensor hit, uh, that guy, Deputy, take both of their... Oh, I guess it would take our Noble, too. Yes. Yeah, so, no, I, I don't think it does. I think it does. I, I think, don't think it does. Are you sure? Yeah. Because isn't it... Is it, I thought, um... What's the enchantment? That takes even your own your own permanence. Let's pull it up. Deputy of Attention, when Deputy of Attention enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent on opponent controls and all other non-land permanents that player controls. Oh, okay. That is the, how it works, man. Like, it just doesn't care. All right, so we're taking a hit here. It's a big hit. If we hit another uh, mana source here, we can drop Linvala and cut them off of their nobles as well, and that should just be a complete blowout. Yep. See, good thing I told you about the Linvala, bro. I forgot that they ran nobles, too. Cause I was thinking, I was like, is this going to be anything useful in it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Awkward! 
<laughs> oh my gosh. They're down to one mana. They're still going to be able to swing, though. Yeah, they're going to. one time. Well, they're going to five five. Mage. Yep, we'll, we'll take the hit, go to three, and then we'll reflector it, and then that should be game. He missed two points of damage. I don't hmm. know if he has business. Awkward! That is. It's rough for going to two. <laughs> We're just gonna swing with the Knight of Autumn, right? Hit him for four. Yeah. Want to hold back the Linvala because they can block down the Noble. Oh, uh, you should have swung with uh, the Linvala. I guess it doesn't matter. No, because if we swing with the Linvala, their Noble can only be a three-four, and then it can just bounce off of each other. Oh. Because if we swing with the Knight of Autumn, we'd have to give up our Knight of Autumn. Yeah, I got you. I forgot that they can they do more than just. Mm -hmm. Playing your list on Sunday? Um, I'm not going to be around Sunday, actually. I'm going to be going to Cleveland Open, but I am more than happy to take a look at the list when I am back and able to play. What's his list? Well, we have to chump block. Yeah. I'm thinking we swing with Reflector Mage and then cast click on them. Yep. On their uh, draw step and see what they have going on. Yep. Well, we could hold back the Reflector in the Night of Autumn and block down anything they swing with. No, because click and whatever we block with should be enough to kill it. Yeah. If we even want to do that. Yep. So yeah. We want to keep the pressure going. And we can't swing with the Lumbala in case if they draw top deck and land. Yeah. And they have two of those three mm -hmm. threes. For sure. Thank you, man. Uh, I am uh, excited to see what happens this weekend in Cleveland. Did you figure out what you're going to play yet? Nope. <laughs> I played Tron yesterday and did, uh, went 2 3 with it. Um, I played against a lot of decks that I felt like I should have won against, and I just didn't. We have to take Reflector Mage, right? Mm. I mean, then we just take Manus Rider? Like, Reflector Mage was just gonna. I guess they can't cast Reflector Mage right now, anyway. Even, yeah, even if they draw a land off of the. Like, land will be quick. If, if they get to Mantis Rider, they're hitting for six a turn, and that's just. Really? And it's in the air, so you can only block one time or right. twice. Yeah. So I'd rather take because the reflector mage was just gonna bounce something, and then okay, yeah, so. we can just replay it. Like anything that they bounce is gonna be not very good for them unless they block a noble okay. or bounce a noble. You know, like we kind of want them to bounce our reflector mage or knight of auto. Yeah, I play a lot of Tron. I mean, it's it's the deck that I am very happy with. Um, whenever I have played it, just. Recently, I just haven't felt in the greatest spot with it, so. I'll have to start chump blocking here. Chump block with the Knight of Autumn? Yeah. That's not great. Um. Hmm. I think we have to drop Temple Guard and just pass. Um. We're at two. we're at two. We're at two. They're gonna reflect or something. Oh, we're just dead. I'm just saying. I think we're just dead. Yeah, no we're just what we do. We're, we're just dead because they bounce one thing, and then we have three blockers left. We block the three biggest creatures, and their nobles will get through and kill us. 
Yep. Well, let's see if they make the mistake, though. We'll hold the temple in hand. I thought we had them, too, man. This hand was sweet. Like, if we would have drawn a uh, prime speaker one turn earlier. Now, just block with Noble, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of where they did that. Well, you know, we held up one card in hand. It could have been anything, so they were obviously afraid. Rib Ranger isn't bad. It does allow us to swing. It has flash. You don't have to play it right now. Mm. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. So we can swing for three in the air here. Now uh, we'll pass turn. Is there anything that we can draw that can really, like, really get us out of this? Mm. I think. Like, nothing amazingly. It's just going to be, like, a little bit of value. Like, we're just dead, right? Yeah, we're just 100%. Like, we're, we would basically just be waiting for them to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think we really want to change anything. No. That's just unfortunate. I think this is decent. run out a bird and we will see if we want to just go voice next turn and then the following turn use eldritch because we can grab a four drop which should be pretty sweet um, if they go with a mana dork here we can uh, hit them with the um, limbala again it seems to be the right line right mm -hmm. and i think we're going to drop the wind swap so we can go get a Go get a, um, like a hollow fountain. What else do we have in the four drop? What's the stonic chick do again? Which chick? Stonic angel. Oh, it makes us so only one creature can untap every turn. Um, and then it has flying and vigilance. So it's just a great way to slow down the game. And then we can, you know, ideally here, our creatures would be able to overtake the game. I Man, it's just rather so good. Mm hmm Especially with Exalted. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to have to click ourselves, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, there's Lindvala. It's kind of awkward that we would have to take, we'd have to shock ourselves down to 13. And take a hit. And then take another hit. Alternatively, we can just Eldritch Evolution now. And put uh, Temple Garden into play tapped. Um, Stoic Angel doesn't really impact them right now because they have the Vigilance factor going on for them. Um, what else can we get that's... We could go get a Reflector Mage and bounce their Mantis Harder and hold off a turn. Um, and then we can also go get Prime Speaker. Does Prime Speaker win though? Um, 
It wins, but... Well, do you have a three drop that untaps? Yeah, Bell Ringer. Do you have a four drop that untaps? Ref- uh, we'd have to resto the Bell Ringer, which we could do by casting the click. Yeah, I guess if they don't have a Reflector Mage, it wins. Okay. Let's do that. Well, no, it, it doesn't... Well, yeah, we'd have to click ourselves to put the Kiki back into the deck. Yes. Okay. We're doing a lot of work. Seems like a lot of us. Unless there's something better, but I feel like that's our best bet. Yeah, I mean, it's either that or I can't really think of anything. Because that the guy is going to get to every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just got to hope they don't have the Reflector Mage. Yeah, if they have Reflection Mage, that's pretty bad for us. Like, we might lose the game bad. I don't think we'd have to have two. I mean, we could play the... We could... Yeah. Okay. We, no, because we could play Limvala, block one turn, like chump block. Or click ourselves. Yeah, or yeah, yeah click ourselves. Yeah, we have chump block, yeah. Cool, we win the game. So, what's the process that we're going to do here? So, we're going to have to top Noble Hierarch for, green, uh, for blue mana, right? Uh, tap it for blue mana, sack it for Scrib Ranger, tap our forest for green mana, untap Prime Speaker, return forest to our hand, play the forest again, sack the Scrib Ranger, go get the Rallyer, Rallyer return Scrib, untap it again, then sack away Scrib Ranger for a Bell Ringer, sack away uh, Rallyer for a Resto, and then sack, and then, no, we have to click ourselves, and then we just have to make sure to click ourselves somewhere so, along the lines. So the first step is clicking ourselves. Yeah. Why don't we click ourselves first? click. Was it really supposed to be Imara? What what made them change that? Sack away Scrib Ranger. We don't actually even have to do the Rallyer here. Because we can just get Bell Ringer, untap, and then go get. Um, since we already cast the. Yeah, you sack the Vindil and click to go get Resto. Mm hmm. I think they see it in their eyes. It would have been the only mythic. Well, that's an interesting reason. You'd think that they would have planned that ahead of time. I think the best part is we technically could go keep getting four drops. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to, but you could technically just keep sacking stuff with Prime Speaker, go get more creatures, and then overtake the game that way as well. Well, that's a cool little factoid, man. That's pretty sweet. What is our opponent doing here? Our opponent's currently trying to wait to figure out how to concede. And it is a difficult process. Um, they're currently figuring out that okay. we can go infinite. Okay. <laughs> that's the guy I'm talking about. Z ZX Rogue. That, that's the Vanifar player? Yeah, he played Vanifar. He played a lot of Vanifar. And he was playing. That's who I was list I was copying. I watched him a lot on. Okay. He, like, streams when I'm awake Talk. so you know at like 4 o'clock in the morning he swims overnight like their shift like 
he could just live in a different part of the world. I'm pretty sure he does, but I know he just streams that. That's a like that's a prime spot where like nobody streams at. That's why. Yeah, because it's in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> Caleb used to stream into the middle of the night. He used to stream until like three o'clock in the morning, but then he kind of stopped. I think. But so yeah, probably to adjust it to a more like I guess it's a more reasonable like life uh, decision. But like it's not a good streaming decision to get away from your market. This hand looks pretty sweet. I think we can go a bird here, and then we can go into an evolution. We can e-wit for the land back if we need to, or the Eldritch evolution. Spellscape yeah. protects us. Prime Speaker here can let us combo. So, debatably, we may want to pot away on turn two just to ramp ourselves. Get rally or bring back the bird. No, not rally. Um, you can just. Uh, uh, oh, that's super sick. Huh? That's super sick. Well, we can just eat with. We can just turn. Yeah, yeah. Turn, eat with. Yeah. Turn three, sure eat with, and get a get the first line back. Did I probably just pass on turn one? I was just about to say I were. Well, I guess they mold a three, so. Oh, they did mold a three. Wow. Yeah. I feel bad for them. I don't. It's... You don't feel bad for people when stuff like that happens. It depends on what they're playing. <laughs> mm mm mm. So we can rally right here, or we can e wet. I think it's just e wet, right? Yeah. I'm just keep it consistent. Yeah. As somebody that plays Tron, how do you feel bad when people mole? Because I mole all the time. Don't like when you mole, like you just basically are like usually you get mana screwed, and like that's kind of like what Tron does is mana screw people. You just like turn three card and blow up your land. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, m it's just a glorified land destruction deck, but, like, I don't, like, I don't like, like, I don't mind having to mold on it, because I know that's what my deck is going to do, like, that's the intent the whole time. Yo, there was this dude I was watching on YouTube the other day, it was, um, you know Frank Lopez, right? Yeah. So he was playing, and he played against this deck. And it played that I think it's called it's not Niz Mizzet. I don't it's like a blue red um costing CC cost. Okay. And then you whenever you play a spell you can exile it off the stack to give it two plus one counters. On yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So he's playing We got beat by that one of the streams, man. What they is... like stormed off and then exile off all the oh, no. all the storm things no, and then like bro. hit me for twenty. This dude was playing all the packs. He's playing the red pack, the blue pack, uh slaughter pack. He was playing. Um, yeah, they do. They did as well. They played a couple packs. Oh, he wasn't storming. Uh, he just stormed uh, one time. Storm? But no, but uh, it was the funniest thing in the world. It, the deck looked kind of weird and crazy, but yeah, it was really funny. Their fault for building a deck that can get bad hands all the way down to three. I mean, that can happen with any deck, though, right? Yeah, we just mowed down to five, almost to four. I mean, technically, could have. I don't think that chat's registering. What? Uh, I'm not seeing on the live stream. I don't think that chat is pulling up the chat right here. Right? Oh no! I, it. I'm not sure. This ain't suspect. Oh, you mean the chat is not on the screen? Yeah. Can you guys see the chat on the stream right now or no? Like if you full screen it. Right? I'm not seeing anything there. It's supposed to be in that box? I think so. No. Okay. I'll have to take a look at that in just a bit. Alright, so this hand. Uh, we're not doing anything, and we got to sack away the spell sky in order to get another creature. Absolutely. Absolutely? Mole. Yeah, it's oh. Mole. That's okay. We'll keep this. I don't think we need another land. No. Oh, it's tiny. Okay. Uh, maybe we can adjust it. Why don't you just make it taller, cover up the top of the screen? Oh, it is Tron, too. Makes sense. Well... That's a lot of great. Not really, because we didn't change anything. We have a Gaddock Teague in the main. Yeah, but we don't have anything else. Huh? We don't have anything else. That's fine. That's enough to slow them down for a good chunk. I didn't change anything. <laughs> I fixed it. 
I think it pops up and it leaves. Can't you pull your stream up on here? Like your actual stream? Oops. Uh, yeah. No, isn't this you editing it? No, that's the stream. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't see that. Oh, it's, yeah, it's real tiny. Yeah, it pops up and then, it, like, uh, the chat disappears. Yeah. Like, people can, it, it's, uh, it shows up and then it goes away. So Is I'm there a timer? Out. There's possibly a timer that we'll have to get rid of. Okay. Um, I think we just Eldritch Evolution for the Gaddock Teague. For show? For show? What up, Vagrant Wolf? Hope they don't have a... Um... He said hi, by the way. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I got special guests. I had uh, Blake and George on Sunday, and I got Reese today. Thought oh, my not. gosh, thought not. This was awkward for us. <laughs> Goodbye, Brown Speaker. Maybe they'll take our uh, Screw Ranger. They might, I don't know. <laughs> uh, today, I don't know, I invited George, um, so he was welcome to come, but he uh, said he was going to show up, but I don't know if he actually is. No, I don't know here who already. Uh, Ray Wolf is. Uh, that is Kyle. Like Murray? Huh? Like Murphy? No. Bueller? Huh? Bueller? No. Uh, Sorry? Yeah. It is? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, we can voice here so then I can live through the O, o, o stone. We can't cast the V click and we could flash in the Scrib Ranger. Yeah, I think our only place to play voice. And then lay untapped. Let them hit. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was our only answer to this. <laughs> not a great spot. I mean, it's not a great answer because they their only removal spell costs less than three. Four. I know <laughs> it costs three. That's a it's a thing. Oh, and they're playing a walking ballista, so they have everything in their hand costs. It's like perfect for gay tea. Well, we have to take the hit. Is that a wolf emoji? <laughs> like he's talking about the extension that Russ was talking about. Hey, if you let me know what extension that is, I would be more than happy to get it installed. Uh. Mm. I think we're just passing. Um, I think this is where we can see and go to the next game. Do you think so? A hundred percent. What are we doing here? <laughs> I don't know. They're going right. to kill our guarantee on the <laughs> seven play like a card or something. All right. So. You want Glenn? We want Glenn Alondra. Unified Wills. We want all the Unified Wills. Nope. Debatably, we can bring those in, but they're not great. Uh, but we could hit them. Like, being on the play with it is pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, Linvala can shut down their walking ballista, but that's it. Um, so, Eidolon can screw them up with uh, being able... No, it's not... It's such a corner case being relevant, so I don't think it's really worth it. I would really appreciate that. And I'd be more than happy to install anything that I think would be worthwhile in getting, uh, making the stream better. Kataki. You think it's worth it? Um, in some cases it can be good. Like if you turn to a Kataki and they have a one of those one drops in play, they, they have to crack it on their upkeep, right? Yeah. So then they don't get too ancient stirring with it or use okay. still inscribe with it. 
Yeah, that's the same reason why like caustic can be good. Yeah, um, it can hit there. Yeah, uh, one drops and it can also hit like an O stone. Yeah, there just for... like things like that. Like if you draw that instead of like a voice, I think it does more than okay. what a voice would ever do. Well, I don't want scavenging ooze. Nope, uh, it's pretty useless. Um, we can keep the reflector mage. I think you kind of do keep things. like the against like the worm coil. Yeah, because most stuff. of them they're running four worm curls now. Okay. Um, and you don't like the voice here. Not really. And we got cut cut two more cards. Uh, I think the spell skates are pretty relevant here against like Karns and stuff like that, uh, mainly because then that way they're not gonna be able to just exile our lands. Yeah. Um, Gaddic Teed's obviously good. Uh, Quasali is the same reason why we were gonna bring in the uh, Kataki or the Caustic. Um, v Click seems solid. We could cut the Tracker if we're not trying to value them. That's not unreasonable. Um, and then cutting one more card. Possibly spell skype. Or birds. I'd rather keep the bird because I want to be able to ramp as much as possible. I only ran seven. Huh? You only ran seven? Yeah. I think I ran uh, four birds and three. And three nobles. See, now it's staying up there. Oh, no. No, no. Any, anytime we have chat comes, it, it just pops up and then it goes away. Maybe if you make it taller, see, make it go, like, all the way up there. I can do that. See if that makes it at least, at least bigger. No, I'm just... One or all or nothing. <laughs> uh, this hand, we are going to. We'll get ourselves a temple garden. And a bird. I'm like super tempted just to horizon. Ooh, never mind. We don't have to. We can just uh, Quasali blow it up. Yep, seems good. No tower. They got a tower. They got a tower. They're so good at this. So it's like we lost. No, that's fine. So we have the option of going for evolutioning away our bird and going to get a um a Gaddic Teague again. Um That's like the biggest play we can do, I guess. Mm-hmm. Because if we go and get a, we can just ramp as well. Yeah, Tron, Tron's always going to be, you know, I mean, I play Tron, but <laughs> that's what Tron does. Um, the other thing we can do is we can just play a land, cast an E-Wit, um, and then set ourselves up for an Eldritch Evolution into a Glenelandra. And try to counter stuff. But I'm expecting them to do things. So I think we have to Eldritch Evolution this turn and get rid of our bird to go get a Gaddic Teague to slow them down. Yeah. And then we can um, just kind of play things out from there. Hope that everything in their hands is big. Yep. Just, just, just you know, hope. Why am I so bad? It's because I'm terrible at life, man. And it's because you're not here, you know? I blame you for not being here. Fuck, I should know who Zok is. Isn't that, um... That's Josh. Yes, I was about to say. Hmm. 
Might as well uninstall. You know what? Tell Josh to 1v1 in... Uh, 1v1 me, bro. EDH. <laughs> <laughs> you want to 1v1 him in EDH? I feel like he'll crush me with the amount of money he's going to throw at me. <laughs> so far winning. This is working out great. <laughs> Hopefully you don't play one girl. I would hope you're not worried. I'd feel like I'm going to get crushed. Tell him to get Magic Online right now. <laughs> get Magic Online right now so we can play. <laughs> No, we're going to do a Legacy Cube after this. They're searching. I feel happy that they're just cantripping. Problem is, we're not presenting a lethal on our turn, though, so they got a couple turns for this. Yeah, I mean, I could probably build that on Moto here without much problem. So, if you actually did want to play online and get, uh, get a game going. Uh, one of these times. Um, they do that, like, what is it, $1 EDH deck challenges? You guys ever see those? On here? Yeah, you, you have you get one ticket and you gotta build an EDH deck. Um, because so much of, so many of the, like, the EDH cards are just, like, super cheap. Yeah. So then you can just build, like, pretty yeah, You can build any EDH deck on here for, mm -hmm. for the most part that I've seen. Yeah. Alright, what are they gonna take? If they're smart, they'll take our bell ringer, take one of our combo pieces. You can't bring yourself to use magic online? You mean you don't want to use an Excel spreadsheet to play magic? Because <laughs> <laughs> let's be real, that's all this is. I don't understand why it's like so, like, like it seems like so old school. That's because they haven't, like, reasonably updated this in a very long time. Like, I can't even get my own playmat on the background? Like, Jesus Christ, it's like 2019. Yeah, man. That's how this works. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the uh, standard picture. You didn't even change that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're e-wedding for a land here. And then next turn, we can Eldritch Evolution... And then next turn, we can Bell Ringer and win. Wait, right? so what are we doing? Ewit, get a land. Okay. Next turn, we can Evolution Away, Eternal Witness, go get Kiki Jiki. And then the next turn, we can play Bell Ringer. I mean, that's a line. That's definitely a line. Well, no matter what, I think we're just um, casting our uh, Ewit. Yeah, we're turn. casting Ewit no matter what. Is that, or we could cast Bell Ringer? Just to have it on board, but I don't think that does much for us. Nope. There's no reason to put it out. So we need them to not do nothing for two turns and not draw Kiki Jiki in two turns. Oh, they tapped a lot of mana real fast. That's a little mug. Or a ballista. Feels like a ballista. That's a ballista. That's awkward. Which means we lose. Uh, they cannot kill our... Oh, yeah, we lost. What do you mean? They can kill everything. Aw, <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for subscribing, man. Really appreciate that. You're the third subscriber. Maybe you can be like, welcome to the little club. The little club? <laughs> what does the little club even What does that even mean? No, I'm talking about, I'm a cutie pie. He says, welcome to the big. Oh, okay. You could say the little. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm Asian? No. I'm just saying <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Um... Do you have anything that's bigger or can get rid of the walking ballista? Well, we maybe we can, can get Reflector Mage. Well, no, we can pot away our E-Wet and go get, like, a Knight of Autumn to blow up the walking ballista. And then they're going to kill our and shoot the Gaddic Teague. Uh, but that's going to burn our Eldritch Evolution. I don't think we have a choice here anyways. Our 
the cards in our hand aren't very powerful, so we're not doing very much anyways. It's that or we just cast Bird, pass, following turn, play Bellringer, and see what they do. And then if we somehow come back to our turn with creatures, we can Eldritch Evolution. But then what are we going to get? Because they can interrupt our Kiki combo. Easily. Yes, at, at any point. Oh, you know what we could do? We can Eldritch Evolution away the e the Ewit to see if they respond. And oh wait, no, we didn't put in Linvala, did we? Yeah, we did not put in Linvala. I was gonna say that could shut down the ballista. I got nothing. I think our best play is to play Burden Pass, because then we can Bell Ringer and then um, Evolution. Because otherwise, we just got Evolution right now. Sure. They're gonna kill a guarantee on the end step and uh, play something. <sighs> this is really weird that this guy played 150 matches and he didn't have anything in here for Tron. I mean, he does. I see Tron a lot online. I mean, he does. He has the main deck Gaddick Teague. The other players are playing like Blood Moon and. I was gonna say I play the red guy that gives makes your life basically his Blood Moon creature. Yeah, Magus of the yeah. Magus of the Moon. That's right. Um, that, that shuts them off pretty good. So it's yeah, it's either sacking E Wet here, going to get a five or a four drop, um, or sacking Bird, um, forcing the blow up, but we'd lose our entire board and be left with a bell ringer, take four, cast bell ringer, and die. I mean either way, I, I think the game's over. I mean they're gonna kill our Gate Teague on the incept no matter or kill our Gate Teague no matter what, and then I assume their hand has to be more than just lands. Mm-mm. We don't have a zealous constructs either. <laughs> uh this is just seems bad. Let's sack the bird, I guess. See what they respond with. Nothing. Spell sky. Uh we can get a spell sky and and just make them... We just can, protect it until next turn. Not really, because we got to pay a good chunk of life. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't even do that, because we're just going to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just dead. I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah. All right. As soon as they cast that, we're... Oh. You just ask them if they will concede first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Conscripts is just... Absolutely amazing. I'm surprised this list does not run it. Yeah, I, I played it now. I, I love it. It was really good. The version we can go back to running is the Rhythm Pod version that I was really uh, suspicious of and really proud when it did really well. <laughs> We're just like, oh, Vanifar win. <laughs> Don't have to expose it. Uh, I think we want to see the land here, so we're just gonna not crack the windswept, and then we'll go get a forest. Oh, this is gonna be a long game. <laughs> uh, That's the only thing I hate about this matchup. It's so long and like dried out. Like, bro, what are we doing here? Do we have to go to time every game? Shock. The forest. Yeah, I'd run out of these. I mean, I guess, I guess we're kind of glad they didn't go to Sarah Sundance. How good would that deputy detention be right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, we could reflect her one just to slow them down, I guess. Or just play the noble. Mm, I guess either. Because they don't really play anything that reflector maze needs to bounce, so. Just yeah. getting on the board. Getting what on the board? Just getting it on the board probably is fine. Yeah. Because otherwise they could crack it and hit us for like two sixes in the air next. So uh, we want to grab a hollow here, get all of our mana bases covered. You know what this deck needs? 
That uh, white, the drowsy guy that blinks stuff. Displacer? Yeah. So we just keep displacer. Seems a little grady. It's okay. It's good. Is that the second best one drop in Commander? What? Is, is what the second best one drop in Commander? Oh, Conscript? Oh, that's a ghostly prison. We got, we got a knight. We do. We have all the answers. Sarah Ascendant? You can't play Ascendant. As your commander, it's not a legendary. He said one drop in commander. Oh, the second best one drop in commander. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Well, Soul Ring's number one. Oh, there goes our creatures. Draw a land so we can play that guy? Nope. That's okay. We Let's... still can play both two guys. Yeah, we'll go Noble and Voice. I'm trying to think what else is... It's been a while since I played EDAs like that. What else is the best one drop? Isn't there a... Oh, Mana Vault's Manicrip? the second. Is it Mana Crypt Zero? It's Mana Vault then. Yeah, Mana Vault is yeah. a... Yeah, Mana Vault's crazy. Yeah. I, was, I know there's a one drop that like taps for a lot of mana. They got Martyr and Thraven Inspector. I like how they ramp by ghost quartering their own lane. Mm-mm-mm. I think we're just playing Vizier. Absolutely. Wall we'll drop on top so we can cast it. That'd be cool. We'd have to shock ourselves, but that'd be pretty cool. Hopefully it's a noble so we can... Nope, it's a breeding pool. Mm, do we want to swing for three? Probably. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah, so we want a bigger guy, anyways. I don't. I never understand why people play this deck. It doesn't have a very good win percentage, and it's just annoying. I think there's a. This actually wins against a good chunk of the meta, though. It just wins like, against Burn and. Um, doesn't it? Is it Phoenix? Doesn't but like it, it loses to everything else. Doesn't it also beat Dredge? Like Dredge has a yeah. hard time with it, doesn't it? No. What? Mm -mm. Don't you just gain too much life and you have like too much like exile effects and everything? From all the from all the times I've seen people play this deck and from what everything that I've seen on it, the only thing it, it has a really good matchup against is a Phoenix. Um and Burn. Well obviously Burn. That's pretty much about it. Otherwise it's just the grind fest. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so we got ourselves a click. I guess we just click them. Don't we just click ourselves? Hmm? Don't we just click ourselves and get rid of the bell the bell ringer? Don't we want to keep the bell ringer? No. Yeah, because then we draw Kiki here, we win. If we can't cast Kiki, I'm gonna Vizier. Draw. Vizier allows mm -hmm. us to uh Cast oh. uh, as well as any creature. Mana as well as any mana. So I think I'd rather just target them, force them to path right now. Yeah. That's rude about it. And we're going to keep those right there. Mm -mm -mm. That's a pretty big um, one drop. Sarah send it? Yeah. I guess we're going to put this into play tapped because it lets us get a couple swings against that Sarah send it. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm I I'm weird when it comes to EDH. I don't know. I've always just focused on 
um, ramping and making sure I can cast all my spells because honestly that's like the worst thing in the world to me is not being able to cast your spells. A 6-6 six, six flyer with lifelink. We can cast our bell ringer now. Woo! Man, if we draw an Eldritch Evolution, we win. Those bell rings attack your opponent's creatures and not attack yours. Huh? You want bell ringer to tap all their creatures and uh, it untap ours? That'd be ridiculous. It wouldn't be that good. It'd be okay. And I, just think about how many times we can rest to it. <laughs> <laughs> rest to it, tap their stuff. Rest to it, tap their stuff. <laughs> You'd be like a creature cryptic. Rest, that's what rest would be. Pretty much. Yeah, like anytime I play a deck that's not green, I'm like actually just really disappointed. Or a deck that can't ramp. It doesn't have to be green, but a deck that doesn't Awkward. ramp. Okay. Um, I guess we can swing with a 6-6 six, six on them. See how fast he blocked that? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is not an issue. I will <laughs> gladly chump block right now. Like, do we have anything that we can draw here that... Reflector that's... Mage bounces the Sarah Ascendant. We already used it. Huh? That's tragic. Um, <laughs> E-Wet to bring back the Reflector Mage to bounce it. And then now we just lose the following turn? When, no. After he plays it? No, because we can hit them. Well, like, we're, we're going to be pressuring them with the Elemental. Like, we'll take the six here. We can, we have another turn where we can block with Vendillion Click. So. It's not useful at all. Alright, we got one more turn. Are you sure? They got a lot of life. Huh? They got a lot of life. Like, we, ha we can, if we get an Eldritch Revolution... I'm surprised they didn't play a bird. Another bird, so they can... Like, if something happens to their Saturday, they can still swing through both. I don't know. I don't think they're worried about it. Right now, they're like, bro, I'm at four. This guy's over here. What is this guy <laughs> he's still blocking the seven seven when he's gaining six. Are they he's getting like I'm trying to go for like max value? Did he just path his own squadron hawk. Yeah, gave us another oh, token. He's trying to get the the Emeria online. Oh, okay. So he has six seven. So he has it online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, Range reveals. Ranger. That's pretty good. <laughs> he's gonna get two Sarah in right here. <laughs> A ballista. So I feel like his value town is a little bit better than ours. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why they didn't do it for four, though. Oh, because we're just dead. Because <laughs> we're at two. <sighs> but seriously, if we drew an Eldritch Revolution there, we would have won. No, we wouldn't have. Yes, we would have. We gamble out. Oh, yeah. Paths seem good. Reflectors seem fine. Not great. Do we want unified well? I don't think so. No? You don't think we'll outvalue them? On creatures? I think you want Sahili. They don't really get rid of too many creatures, and maybe you can pump, get big enough. Okay. Should we bring in Linvala? None of the creatures tap. No, it does stop Martyr, though. Being able to chain Martyrs over and over again. Oh. I'm sure there's stuff better, yeah. Maybe Stonic Angel? Stonic Angel, I don't know if it's... They can just swing with their 166, and that's all they're going to care about. Okay. So I think that has a worse impact on us. Um, we may want to bring in the Caustic if they're on that Ghostly Prison plan, but we've already got the Quasali and the Knight of Autumn. Mm-mm-mm. Um, <laughs> it's calling you out on your first statement. Um, <laughs> so, we don't want Gaddic Teague for sure. Um, Spell Sky is hit or miss, it's just for the paths here. That's not the only thing we want, because they only run four paths, so like. Okay. 
Um, I think the voices are actually pretty low value as well, because um, of path. Um, so this is why I don't like voice. Like if they're not good in creature matchups. I, know, I think I'm gonna cut the click instead. Them? I think that'd be better, uh, because I want the ooze for their Emiria, and I think I'd rather keep the rest. Yeah, I mean I like ooze because they get big enough where they're a problem. Yeah. Deck crushed us with no problems. I think I'm recording this, by the way, everyone. Um, so if I miss out on recording, that's why. Because uh, I'm trying out Streamlabs over the other recording software I was using. So We have to this. So, you know. It's pretty bad. It sounds okay. It's a little slow. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I would put on the bottom because I feel like we need a... Well, we're going to be fetching anyway. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought we were on the draw, so I was like, we kind of want to draw a bird or something, I think. So, not really sure why you decided on that. I, mean, I guess we could have drew it with a... We could have played a forest. Yeah, I was like, we could have... We could choose to draw it. It's just... Whether or not we want it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I stopped playing modal. <laughs> Oh, I really wanted Path to be in our hand, man. I haven't played Modern in like a week. I've just been Cuban, like nonstop. Really? Yeah. I have not cubed at all. There's like no decks that I like. Every time I play Modern, it's always like it feels like a toss up to me. Modern is a toss up. And that's why, like, I know, that's why actually a bunch of people in the area stopped playing Magic a little bit. They're just kind of, like, tired of the, um, oh, this matchup I win, oh, this matchup I lose. And, like, that's it. Like, you don't actually get to play some Magic back and forth, um, which I can definitely understand. Yeah, it's like most of it's, I don't know, I don't know how skill intensive it is, but. It's like, oh, they have it, oh, they win. <laughs> yeah, just play turn one, land a warrior, and will scoop you. I'm still amazed they did that. Um, so we could just run out Linvala here. And there's potential that they wrath us, but it does shut down their Martyr. I mean, we're not doing nothing anyways. We can't just sit there keeping them with a 2-2. Two -two. Right. Dang! Oh, they're going to hit us with the Mind Sensor. Son... Alright, so let's get our token. Was that, that worth it? Huh? Was that worth it? I don't know if that was worth it for them. They're trying to land screw us. Like, we could easily just path that Avon Mind Sensor and get our land still. But then we can't cast the Linvala. I think we should, we should better hit a land, right? All our lands are castable. Right? It's only the top four. But all our lands are castable. Right? Other than Horizon Canopy, yeah. And another fetch land. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you want to roll the dice? Uh, yeah, I don't think... Because I kind of... I don't know. Yeah, because ramping them and... Yeah. Because they, they, I think what they're planning on doing is field of ruining us as well. You should pack that. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad this doesn't affect them. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're hitting them with path anyway, but... Well, I think we're just getting a breeding pool tap now. Yeah. Now we really don't need to play anything. We can kind of just wait for them to do something now because... They gave us the threat. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger. Okay. I think I'll get Martyr here. We actually can just drop Linvala. That'd be pretty cool. Because they can't... Oh, two inspectors. That's interesting. It's Scrib Ranger, or we can run out Scrib Ranger and untap a land and then play another creature to make our voice token a 4-4. Four, four. It's 
tough call. Because we, like, we could run out the Scrib Ranger and then just run out a 4-3 Knight of Autumn. Not that great. Um, but it would give us a 4-3 in play and we'd have a 4-4 in play. I feel like they have um, that one card in hand, the Marta in hand. That's why I didn't go get any. That would make sense. And if that's the case, then Linval is the play. And if they have a Wrath. Yeah, that's the problem. If they have a Wrath. I, mean, I guess either way we're, we're screwed if they had a Wrath. Because if you play two dudes and they Wrath, it's still kind of bad. Yeah. Well. Because I don't want a Reflector Mage, though, because that would be really bad. Yeah, I don't think you want a Reflector Mage. Let's just live Lala. The bad thing is we can't even swing now. Yeah, that's the downside. We can't swing without giving up our Ranger. Uh, give, uh, giving up our token. So, like, that seems bad. Let's just pass. Yeah, mindsets are sweet. It used to be, like... In a lot of decks because of Pod, but that was a long time ago. Now we're playing Pod Light and seeing if it's good enough. The most fun matchup Ponza has is War Prison. I still, I've been wanting to play that deck for a while. I just, I can't because it's so expensive. No, we've got a one one now. <laughs> this deck is atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this deck. No. Oh. I think we're just casting Script Ranger and hitting them for two. Yep. You know, I love this deck when you have Pod in, in play. Uh, Vanifar, that is. Every other time feels really bad. <laughs> I think it's gonna blow up our lands left and right. We got a lot of basics. We do. Yep, there's the prison. You should save that. Huh? Hmm? What if you draw what you call? The other three drop. What? What if you draw the other three drop? Rallyer? Yeah. That's fine. Because we can uh, screw Ranger lane back to our hand. And then put it in. Play. Oh, okay. I got you. to rest his Kanta, then they draw out his Kanta. That's how magic works. No, that's how Moto works. That is how Moto works. There's a Ranger, and they're about to get this land. Uh, no, that's not the land. Okay, that's good. That's Flagstone. It's not the Muriel. We'd, like, just lose to Muriel. <laughs> we actually lose to uh, um, Walking Bulls, too. They found one. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, next turn, I'm pretty sure we lose to Walking Bulls, too. Because I can just clear the whole board for four. I'm like so impressed they play Walking Ballista now. Ooze isn't bad. Nope. No, I wouldn't hmm. play it. What? You shouldn't have played it. Why? Hey, can we get it big enough? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Because I'm going to... Um, oh, I should have untapped. Nah, it doesn't matter because I had to return the force. We're gonna untap this and return this.
Two next are gonna be able to do it for. Well, four. These, the problem is these three creatures are gonna die, which then means the elemental dies. Yep. So. Uh, playing reflector seems really bad now. I think we're fine. That's awkward. Well, I guess we can just eat away their stuff. They can do it for um, for four. Should we just trade with the ranger? Um, no, 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 because it, it forces him to kill the walking uh, ghost. I guess, mm -hmm. I guess he doesn't really need to kill it. No, he can just play it and pass. Yeah, he doesn't have to kill the. Well, oh. Okay. Confused why he played that. I am very confused why they played that. He played it real fast. Oh. Oh, they're just gonna wipe the board that way. Like, why though? They could have just played ballista and wiped our board. And kept the ballista in play. Yeah. I guess they're what they're trying to say is that I'm so far ahead that um, <laughs> but I, I don't, don't care. care. <laughs> oh, we could reflect her and then Eldritch Evolution. What can we get? That's a five. There's, there's Our no only five drop is uh, Kiki. Kiki. Uh, we can go get Vizier and try to take, uh, get back into the game that way. So I guess just play Reflector? That or we can play um, go get Prime Speaker and if we draw anything we're fine. I think those are the two best options. I would just play Reflector Mage and keep the evolution in your hand. You think so? Because that way if you draw anything else you can just evolve it away. Okay. Did they already kill our four drop? That let just cast stuff from the library? That's the zero I was talking about that we could have oh. gone to fetch up. Because then we can start playing yeah. stuff off the top of our deck. But I don't mind holding off a turn. There's Martyr. I've gained a crap ton of life. Well, like, the plus is, like, when we kill them. Alright. One, two, three. They revealed six cards. Those are the six. And one card is not white. Probably a land. There's the Ascendant. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to think of any chains we can do. Bird only being able to go grab. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Vizier is that how you cast it, but that's the only way we're having free birds out. Um. We can sack away Reflector Mage, we'll get either a Kiki, Vizier, Prime Speaker. If we get Prime Speaker, we can cast Bird and pass. We can't cobble off because Scrib Ranger's in the graveyard, unfortunately, already. Um, we, can get, we can get back Renegade Rallyer. For what, though? So if we play a Bird... Playing Rallyer only gets us back either a Voice, a Noble, or a Script Ranger. That doesn't seem to do much. I feel like the line is just going for... Um, they have one card that's unknown that we care about. 
So this triggers when uh, when a when non creature dies. dies. As long as we don't kill one of their creatures, what we can do is just evolution for Prime Speaker, cast Bird, and pass to see if we win. Sure. How do you win from? You'd have we have to draw. Uh, we have to draw two drop. Yep. The two to keep the chains uh, keep anything going. So. The only downside of Ewed is we can't get back um, your uh, evolution because evolution gets exiled. So then the only thing, like, we could Ewed back um, Etern um, Re Reflector Mage to Reflector Mage there, Sarah send it, but that's only going to hold him off a turn. What the hell was that? Uh, destroy target creature with toughness 4 or greater. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're done. Oh my gosh. Alright, we are struggling here. Seems fine. Yeah, it's a good hand. Unless we're playing burn, then we're dead. <laughs> yeah, that's fine though. If we play burn, like we're gonna clog up the board really well with uh, being able to voice and then getting a token in the place of it, and they'd have to send a lot of damage on our creatures. Yeah, but when we untap on our hmm? when when we untap on our turn, we'd have to like three. Uh, we'll be at like nine. That wouldn't be great. <laughs> I'm not saying it's fantastic. You know what? Uh, none of these decks seem to be running. Any of like the utility lands, like Gavity Township. Are we just playing the same deck? I swear. <laughs> um, I think we're just passing. Aren't and you then, just playing Ewit? Huh? Aren't you just playing Ewit? Well, if we get Scrib Ranger out, it's also um, two, effectively two ramp spells because it can untap the Noble and then bounce a land. So then it gets us more mana. Because if we do this right now, the downside is that it, I would want to go fetch up a breeding pool. And oh. that would shock us. It's the only downside. Um, I guess we don't have to because we can just get... We could just get a forest and then cast the Ewit, get back our Misty, and then just play the Misty the following turn. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Play with the basic planes besides that deck. At least it's full art, man. Oh, look at that. Look, look at all those full arts. Oh, it's Texas. Okay. Go ahead and swing where a 3 2. Well, I hope they block. If we play Quasali, we can make it a 4. Yeah, but then if they like if they don't block and they play a ghost quarter and ghost quarter, that's a little awkward. Okay. Because by us not having to play, like we kind of want them to block. They're not gonna block. Like we're a pot deck, they're not gonna block. Yeah. Yeah. Because we can we can play stuff on their on their instant. We can play the Missy Rainforest and then we can just play Scrib Ranger or Vendelian click on the. So on their instead. That way, if they try to like do like a ghost quarter filter room playing, it doesn't screw us over. Okay. <laughs> containment priest. I'd be excited if they got containment priest. To be honest. Isn't that the one that says that you can't? Basically, the creature is not just the battlefield, and you didn't cast it. It's exiled. I think. That's the so. big card that people are saying is gonna be. See, I told you, they're trying to do it. Main board. This guy's a savage. All right, so 
<laughs> we can script ranger, untap eternal witness, a block. Yep. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> what? Oh, non target creatures, yeah. He's like, who plays these cards? <laughs> well, I mean, if he knows anything about potties, he should know that the stick plays script ranger. But it's not your everyday C card. Alright, let's go get a hollow fountain. We can run out two voice here. That wouldn't be terrible. Um, but we would be taking four from the Mirror and Crusader, and we can never block that right now unless we throw out clicks. I don't think that that's where we want to be anyways, playing a click and blocking, because it doesn't even kill it. Yeah, you're right. Because that's first strike. Yeah, let's just, let's just run out the voice, try to get as much pressure going as possible. Have they announced any new cards or any cards in that, that modern set at all? I don't think so. I think they're mainly just focused on the uh, War of the Spark right now because that's what's uh, coming out. So, Tide Taker. People have been uh, excited about this card. They want to see this make a lot of uh, play. It's so. because everybody hates blue white. You're not wrong. And well, we can't do anything, so. It's only in their turn, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Unless they're mana abilities. Okay. What does he even name with that? Oh, I guess Vanifar. He can choose to name Vanifar or he can choose to name. Um... Oh, the thing around the devoted combo. Oh. Maybe we can play a Fire Mage and hold a Vendillion click? Yeah. And swing for three with a Scrib Ranger? I'm just trying to think of how we want to tap this. So if we can shock ourselves here. Well, you, ha you have to. No, no, no. So we could choose to tap this and play this and then use Scrib Ranger and untap the Noble, but we'd have to return the Forest to our hand. I don't think we need to do all that for one damage. Huh? For one to save one damage? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Well, no, because Tide Taker is going to make it so we ca uh, Vendillion could cost two anyway. So we'd have to click them on our turn. Oh yeah. Right. Is it? Is it? It would say I can't. Did it say nine creatures spells? Just oh. spells in general. Mm -hmm. So I think we want to click this turn. Yep. Do we want to click them or ourselves? I think them. You want to click away the click? I'm just asking. I don't know what they could have. I mean, obviously they don't have anything bigger than a... That's better than what they played, so... Uh, why don't we start with clicking them? Just in case they have a Wrath or something. I don't think we'd even care if it was a Wrath. They would have played two guys and then Wrath. I don't know. <laughs> They're bad? Alright. You. We could click, uh, click us and set away the click. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, my thought on a click is that we can chump block and then do it again. But at that point, we're probably not in a great spot. Yep. So I guess we kind of want to, yeah, we want to kind of want to find, um... I just want to find Vanifar. Yeah, we want to find Vanifar or Eldritch Evolution. Boom! Eldritch Evolution. And we can cast it. Okay. So... We can sack away the voice, go get Prime Speaker, win on our turn. Seems like a good option. Mm. 
Can't you just play the forest again? Hmm? No, I already played Fort Land this turn. Oh. Kessig, Wolfron, and Wormcoil engine. Yeah, that is nasty. Death Touch and, and Trample is, like, so strong. And uh, as far as the, the nasty Tron luck, yeah, you don't understand, man. It's, it's good stuff. All right, that's Thought Knot. We don't care about that. Nope. They can take our Wasali, and then we Don't win. they just school? Uh, I, don't I was going to say, don't they just school? I don't know. Maybe they don't. I, I'm surprised they actually didn't want to see the combo. Just to make sure. So... All right, so we're against Mono White Annoying Nuts. Um, Reflector's an option. Paths are relevant, I think. Um, Shalai is not bad if this game gets grindy, right? Like I expect it to. Do you think we'd have more creatures than them? It's a little suspect on him. It's a little sus, yeah. Okay. Uh, Gaddock Teague's not good here. Um, I think we actually want to keep the Spell Skites because they can do their uh, blinking shenanigans and we can make it redirect to Spell Skite. Do they run that? The, the Flicker Wisp? Do they run Flicker Wisp? They should. Normal Texas runs it. Oh, yeah, Flicker Wisp. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the Eldrazi guy. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we necessarily need the... We didn't see anything. I expect them to be on... Um, oh, no. We should probably keep it. I expect them to be on the... Um, Aether Vial? Yeah, Aether Vial. I'm sure so. they were on it. Yeah, they should have Displacer. Oh. Does Spell Sky stop Displacer? Yeah. It blinks, Does it say your opponent? It blinks any creature. Does it say your creature, though? What? Oh, it blinks any creature. Yeah, yeah. Displacer blinks any creature. Ooze is an option, but it does get large enough, but I think that's a reasonable cut here. We could cut one Koswali, but... Don't know about that. Just Let's cut one spell sky. We can cut the click in the sky. Like that. Like that. Many, yeah. Because it's easy, kind of. I guess... We gotta run the Sahili version of this deck, too. I thought you ran that. Hmm? I thought you ran that. I haven't run it. No. Ah, oh, too bad we didn't have lands. I was like, that hand's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, we can probably keep this hand. It is okay, yeah. We can cast everything in our hand. I don't think we want the path. I think we just want lands. Yeah, we want lands. Or a uh, man of dork here. Am I missing Stream Decker? No, it's right there. No, oh, it is? Okay, cool. I think we're going to run out the Windswept and just pass. Yep. Are we going to crack at the one there instead? We're going to plan on cracking as soon as they try to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, cast a wait <laughs> response. So this is a annoying Amanda decision. So um, Temple Gardens relevant here, or the Hollowed Fountains relevant here? Getting our white seems important, but it's whether or not we want to have access to all of our mana colors because we're on a forest. Um, I'm leaning towards the Hollow Fountain because then we could run out the forest, but it doesn't allow us to untap and get the other color of mana, only to ramp us with the Script Ranger. But I still rather have access to all the colors. Right, 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 right. Yeah, they're gonna go quarter it. That'd be a savage if you did that. I know. 
it's like, you're not going to get any value off of it. I'm going to get a land. I do run Technically, he would. I thought Where's he sent that, that away. Yeah. Oh, it's fetch, so. It's had to come back. Miracles. Yeah, thought, not. thought not. Did yeah. you gotta play script bridger? Don't we wanna path it? Oh yeah. Like I don't honestly care what they take here. I just wanna land. If they wanna ship anything away, I'm fine with that. It's kinda like a land. <laughs> Are they gonna take it? The bird? I don't know. Vanifart. Don't be so rude, Epoch. This deck is doing us terribly. It's one and two right now. <laughs> Told you. I knew he was going to take the bird. That's fine. I don't I have care. have no faith in this. You're rotten to the core? I don't think you're rotten to the core. Mm -hmm. I also don't think we're doing anything this turn again. Yeah, we haven't even played against good decks. <laughs> we just keep losing. <laughs> well, what was the first deck we played against that we beat? Um, the first deck we played was... Oh, yeah, I did. I mean. The first deck we played. I know Tron. it was. No, Tron was the second Tron deck. Tron was played. the second deck? Yeah. The first deck we won. They. No. We played Tron, Tron and Tron they played. They molded three. Yeah. I don't know what we played the first. Guys, what did we play the first round? Oh, they named Script Ranger? <laughs> Made an honest <laughs> ramp. <laughs> My opponent's rude. So if we don't draw a land here, it's not going to be looking good for us. If we do draw a land here, it'd be sweet. Come on. Look, opponent, don't put a stop on our upkeep if we're not going to do anything. Just... Evolution away Scrib Ranger. I feel like we just do that and go get Renegade Rally so we can get a land. We can get Windswept and they crack it. <laughs> <laughs> Swing in the air for one. I mean, technically, we can cast. Oh, no, we can't. I'm going to say next time we, we could cast uh, nothing right now. Besides, that's, that's Evolution. <laughs> Seems like the best choice. Mm -hmm. We can also e wet it back. Let's make it makes the smallest difference in being able to pod into rally and bring anything back. But e wetting back anything seems super relevant, though. Yep. So let's just rally her. No, this list doesn't have it. I'm just gonna crack this right now. Get that F6 value, or 6 value in our case. If they play one Arbiter, we are so screwed. Do I just do what other people tell me to do? I at least try out their decks. Ooh, I was curious if they are going to blink their Revoker and uh, 
bring it back to name something else. That would have been a good thing to do, to name Prime Trigger. Mm -hmm. Unless they have another one. Um, run out Prime Speaker. If they don't do anything, we win the game. Or we can uh, run out Shalai and we'd be able to block down their creatures. Which seems pretty relevant because they have like pretty Three, six, strong nine. 9 damage, 11 damage, um, 12 damage on board. They have 9 damage that they're going to swing with next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Let's play Shalai. Blinking uh, Revoker. Yeah, I think um, their play is not unreasonable, though, because what they're setting themselves up to do is uh, presenting a really strong lethal game plan that we have to respond to. Maybe they'll blink it now and name Salai. Look, man, if LSV top aided with a deck that had four Valakuts and 56 Mountains, man, and he top aided with it, I'm on that. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> this opponent's so rude. Oh, uh, yeah. If, if Treasure Hunter was all of a sudden a uh, tier one deck, you know we'd be on it. Are they gonna name Shalai? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> See, it's a good thing we played it for uh, Prime Speaker. Oh my gosh. This is funny. Do we win game one? I don't even remember, man. Right Bro, now. what are we doing? <laughs> we're, we're, ch we're chatting back and forth. I can't. I, I'm not focused on just the game. Um, you just play Prime Speaker here. They have to have an answer for both, and or or lose the game, or attacks like they, or another Volker or Pin and Needle or Flick Royce. Oh, they have another Pith and Needle. <laughs> It's really good at this game. <laughs> oh, and they got an arbor here now. <laughs> I said was able to save those ghost quarters. Okay, what do we? We can got? still win though. Oh, we definitely win. We can bell ringer and then evolution as long as we get one more mana. Yeah. We just pass turn. At the end step, we play Bell Ringer. And then if we draw another land, we can pay for the Arbiter and sack away um, our Prime Speaker and get Kiki Jiki and win. So let's do that. Pass turn. Wait, why are we passing turn? Hmm? Why are we passing turn? Why are we passing turn? Yeah. We pass turn. At the end of their turn, we flash in Bell Ringer. Okay. Going back to our turn, if we draw a land, we can pay for Arbiter and then use Eldritch Evolution, sack away a creature, go get Kiki Jiki, okay. and then Kiki Jiki and Ball Ringer win the game. Why don't you just play Reflector Mage on? Yeah. We can do that as well, but we have to get out the Bell Ringer in order to do anything. Okay. Right? Because if we play Reflector this turn, next turn we still have to play Bell Ringer, and then the following turn they can play. Um, the Arbiter again. So if we do it this way, we can rush out the Bell Ringer, then play a land, pay for uh, Arbiter, and then Eldritch Evolution the same turn. See, this is why I like the other list, because you could win here. Because you have a 4-drop that untaps Prime Speaker. But we can't activate Prime Speaker. Oh, you're talking about just bouncing it? Like, what are we getting rid of Pithy Needle with? Oh, that's right. I think our opponent is taxing you. I don't think our opponent's aware that... Oh, this is awkward for us. If we play Bell Ringer, they're going to Ghost Quarter us. Yep. 
I mean, do we have a choice though? I don't think so. I think it puts us in the best position. As long as he doesn't ghost code our, our forest, I guess. We can still edge into evolution for a um I think realistically he's gonna hit the island or the uh the planes, so Yes. What? I think he F six already. Okay. <laughs> so we didn't get the land, so that's a little unfortunate, but we can run out of spell sky, which I think is our best play. And then we can hold up the mana for Ghost Quarter. It's either that or run a voice, but I think having the spell sky, um, having the spell sky in play prevents them with a spot removal. Sure. So. Whether well, we have two or spot removers because we have Sahili. Yeah. Oh, spell sky is pretty low value right now, then, right? So let's just run a voice. Because we can't redirect anything to spell sky because of uh, Shalai. Why don't we just hold up? Oh, we can't. We can't click. Never mind. Yeah, we okay. can't click right now. Do we need EE? -E? Huh? Do we need EE? -E? I guess. Did we need EE? -E? Never mind. I was going to add just evolution. I was going to say we can add just evolution for our land. Even click ourselves. What is this deck we're playing? <laughs> now we're gonna have the EE. Oh. Now we're gonna have to reflect her mage with our arbiter. Yeah? Um, no, because they're just gonna in response ghost quarter us. We're gonna have to EE our voice for resto to get our land. We can't. Land we have they have arbiter. Oh. That's, That's what I'm saying. We, I think we have to reflect our mage their arbiter. They can blow up one of our lands, but if they don't blow up the forest... Oh, that's bad, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think that's... Oh, my God. This is just bad. So, I think what we should do... Oh, because yeah, they have that, so we still can't do that. I think I'm just going to play Spell Sky Pass. I don't think that does anything, though. Like we're just, It doesn't. So, I think we should at least do... like the, Reflector Mage is the proactive play. Yeah, I think that's what we should do. Because I don't think sitting here is, is not going to help us at all. So, like, they're going to blow up our land. Yeah. No matter what. So oh, they hit, but they hit the island. That's good. That's fine. Like, look at, yeah, because uh, if we keep trying to play around them not goal scoring us, it's going to happen. And we'll bounce the uh, the Arbiter here. Pass it to them. And then we can try to set ourselves up. So what I'm thinking, because we unfortunately got Kiki Jiki in our hand, I think our best play is to um oh thanks for the follow man appreciate that we just got uh two new follows um not used to those noises <laughs> so i think what we can do here is that phoenix thanks for the subscribe oh phoenix thanks for the subscribe and hobbs thanks for the subscribe um what we can do here it's phoenix crest is uh we're gonna eldritch evolution for um night of autumn <laughs> they got another one to name. Oh my gosh, our opponent's so freaking rude. It would be good right now. What's that? Deputy of Detention. Yes, it would be. <laughs> oh. Like, we have to evolution this turn. Yep. He, I, I, he named... Uh, prime speaker twice. <laughs> so I think we the way we win here is just by with Sahili. I think if we just keep pumping, getting lands, pumping with Sahili. So I think if we EE for um for Resto to get Renegade Rally or to get another land back, 
Okay. Just yeah. like you know that this hasn't um they named it with Pithy Needle, right? Oh, okay, well then that's not that's not what we're gonna do then. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Maybe if you ran two Kikis, we could go get a Kiki. Well, I think we're gonna Eldritch Evolution away the voice no matter what here. Okay. Because we have no five drops. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're in the... Well, we can go get the um, Knight of Autumn and blow up the one that's on the Sahili. Oh, that's a good point. We could get Vizier so we can cast Kikijiki. <laughs> That's, yeah. not, that's not unreasonable. Yeah, because then we're only one land away. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. We're so good. And we can play the bird. Nope, we can't, because we're about to crack this. Oh. It's okay. It's modal. There'll be another bird on top. Mm, breeding pool. We need the blue. Sure. Okay, well, that's a land on top. Yep, that works. Well, they're going to play their Arbiter. But it's still fine. We're not swinging with anything. Did you just play that untapped? Yes, I did. In case we got a bird. Oh, I okay. gotcha. I wonder in our hit opponent's head, how does he plan on winning? Okay, so we're just going to play Windswept here, pass the turn, um, pay for Arbiter, and then kill them. Yep. Cool. That took a lot of work. Like a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> the real question is, do we win game one? I don't think we did. I feel like we've only played one game, man. No, no, we did win game one. <laughs> did we, I was going to say, because I remember they had a... Um, or Volker, and they had the the double strike guy in play. Oh but yeah, I don't remember how we won though. Maybe we combo them. Oh yeah, we no, we had Prime Speaker and play two combo them, and they just yeah. conceded. So we could go three two at least. I would be happy if we went three two. I mean, this is a modern deck, but I don't think this is a good list. <laughs> I am not happy with this list. I much preferred the value pod version I had with the resto or the straight combo version. Both versions just feel like better. a better version of this one. And uh, and we get to do fun interactions like, you know, zealous conscripts in the Hiri to combo off. I don't care. Like, there's just better things we could be doing. Well, if we're against Tron. <laughs> I don't even think it's that good because we lost both games with Tron. Well, get a team on turn two. But I, I don't think this is a hand like that's bad. No, no, I think we keep this hand. I mean, we have mana, we can cast our spells. We're going to be playing blue white. Having some trouble, man. Keep losing games with Adnaz. When, when do I hold control when casting lightning storm um so reese here actually plays a fair bit of adnaz uh, in a couple different events could you speak to that a little bit about like control matchups yeah oh is it about control matchups i believe it's about adnaz against control matchups right that should be an easy matchup do they do you, does you do you run the land in the sideboard that lets you cast oh the for free you're it's you're um oh you're just talking about when you're casting the spell because you're casting it Oh, the control. Just when you're casting Lightning Storm itself, so you have to hold priority. That's it. Yeah. Yep. I had that issue too when I first played um, 
when I first played Ad Nauseam online. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta hold priority when you're casting the Lightning Storm, and then yeah. that way you can keep uh, discarding. When you cast it, it'll say click OK, and then you don't click OK. You have to click on the card to discard the lands. Yeah. Yeah. So when you cast it, it'll say, "Do you want to continue?" You don't hit continue. You just hit the card and. It'll give you the option to discard lands. Yeah. And you can play some test, test set games. Don't, like, join a league yet. Get comfortable with that aspect of it yeah. first. Because I was like, cast card, and I was like, they was like, okay. And I was like, yes, I want to cast this card. And I clicked, and it was like, okay, two damage, three damage. I was like, <laughs> awkward. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> what is our opponent doing over here? Uh, our opponent's playing Prowess Value. I just like looked at. I was like, I wasn't even paying attention to what was going on. I look over here and he's just doing a lot of things. We're definitely casting a lot of spells. I think we got this Getty T though. Like, right. He cast four or higher spells. Exactly. Look at like they're now not going to be able to do anything. Like how good would Kitchen Things be here? Not good at all because of Soul Scar Mage. <laughs> I mean, at least we'll gain four life. No, or, it wouldn't. We'll gain two life. Yeah. Are they gonna dismember our Gaddic Tea? That's so rude. Cool. The worst part is we can't do anything on our turn. We could really use a creature. I don't even think we show them the Prime Speaker. No. No. I mean, it's not like they're going to have stuff in their sideboard like, for Prime Sphere anyways. But. The only way I'm not conceding this game is if they don't have, like, a spell here. Like, if they cast a spell, it's going to put us in, like, a really bad spot. Um, we can just try to set up, like, a Vanillion click and see, see more of what they have going on and try to block a creature now. Yeah, we just scooped. Because we're going to... We're going to have to fetch to go to one. Yeah, we're going to have to fetch and again. And then we have to fetch again, so we're dead. Okay. Uh, really aggressive deck. So I'm thinking Reflector Mage here would be solid. Stoic Angel. Eidolon seems pretty good, right? Oh, wait, no. That's Cats. Yeah. Eidolon seems good. It slows him down. It's a big blocker. Yep. Then I think you want this Healy. Shall I? Shall I? Um, Pats don't seem bad. Get rid of their creatures on board for early threats. Yep. I guess you're bringing Glenn, yeah. Yeah, Glenn seems good. Um, Stoic Angel doesn't seem bad. Nope. I'd bring in the Chameleon Colossus. You think so? I mean, it's a big body. Okay. That's another thing this list doesn't have. It doesn't have, like, Obstinate Bailoff or, or Fractus. Fractus. Or Kitchen Fiends. Yeah, like, like, what the crap? Okay. Cards we don't need. Gaddic Teague. Tireless Tracker. The clicks seem pretty bad. I'm not even sure how good El Eldritch Evolution is. I don't think here. you need four. Maybe cut trim, one. We can trim one. Um, we could cut a Quasali. Yeah. Maybe one more Eldritch or one more Prime Speaker. Prime Speaker should be good. It's a two four. I should be able to block them down. It's a, yeah, it seems it should be good. We can cut Vizier because we're not really trying to play value. But we just can't. Cast. What's it's a three? What's a three four yeah, though? It's a three four. I think the Prime Speaker makes more sense. Sure. Not a problem at all. Who's a Kobe coach? That's a funny name. That's a sweet name. <laughs> that was a sweet name. Have you played the Red Right Prison yet? No, you haven't sent me a list. What do you mean, bro? If you don't send me the list, how am I supposed to play it? Well, there's this thing called MTG Goldfish, and you can go in there and look up decks. Yeah, but it's the list you're playing that you've been doing well with that I'd want to use. So if we don't draw creatures... Well, if they draw a creature, that's fine, because then we just play... I'm item. saying if we don't draw creatures... Oh, if we don't draw a creature, we lose. It's going to be kind of awkward if we just keep drawing lands. But I thought this hand was good enough. It's turn one noble into a reflector, and we have a redraw with Canopy. I wonder if they're playing Death Shadow. I bet you they are. I would imagine. This could be like a Suicide Zeus. Oh. But. 
Because they hurt themselves a good bit. I know there was one that made top 8 at a GP, like... Just just very recently. Yeah, like a month ago. Yeah, Suicide Zoo seems to be in a pretty good spot right now. That's an eco That's Lotsies. I swear, if it's a Lotsies, I'll cry. But I don't remember oh them gosh. playing the Souls. Yeah, I didn't remember them playing it either, so... Well, that works. Yeah, it's a good card. I don't know whether. I think they're gonna have a really hard time killing that as well, unless they get Soul Scar Mage in play to bolt it. I gotta stop saying things. <laughs> at least I only got one lane though. We probably want to just play the Horizon so we can crack it and draw a card. Yeah. <sighs> I just gotta stop saying things that I don't want to see. So I have to send two burn spells at um, at Eidolon. They only need to do one. Hmm? They only need to do one. They only need to do one? I mean... We're not I, blocking. Yeah. I mean, if you, like, if you block. Yeah. Yeah, we're not blocking. I'll take the one. I don't care. Duh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Do you want to play a fifth lane? No, I'm thinking I want to play the Temple Garden in case we have to go get. Um... <sighs> I'm pretty sure you want to just start thinning out the deck. I mean, at this point. This we need to draw any creature. Like, even a uh, I would just be happy with any spell. No, no, no. This is you don't understand. This is still the Tron luck because I'm still getting all the lands. On the plus side, they've hurt themselves more. <laughs> Until they drop this death shadow. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna holophone. You think holophone? Because we have. Oh, we, okay. Never mind. I thought we had two forests in play. No, we have a forest and an island. That's why I was thinking temple garden. Because um, it doesn't really matter, but this allows us to have a third green source. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't even understand how this is possible. <laughs> I literally do not understand how this is possible. <laughs> We've drawn Eidolon so far, and then lands. We, we've literally just drawn Eidolon and lands. We're on turn five. <laughs> well, so I said I was, if we don't draw any lands, this hand's a little awkward. I think we have to chump block the Death Shadow, otherwise they can make it an 8-8. And then bolt us and die. I think we just block it with the noble. Yeah, I'm blocking it with noble. At this point, we have all the lands we need. Let's have our team or battle rage. If they have team or battle rage, we lost either way. And yeah. Yep. That was super unfortunate. And that's more than enough for lethal. Or no, what? Yeah. That was weird. All right. Uh, not great. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of this dick. I'm going to need you to stay off Reddit. Hmm? <laughs> You're going to need me to stay off Reddit? <laughs> but that's all I do. <laughs> All right, let's request to get these cards back. Um, yeah, not a fan. I, I understand the guy has put in a lot of numbers with the deck, but just not a fan of what happened there. Did he say he was a winner with the deck? 
figure he's putting a lot of matches because I feel like he was just playing a lot of matches. I don't know. I would hope that he was winning. She was like, I put in 150 matches and lost 130 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my deck. <laughs> That's like expensive if you're doing that. <laughs> what if he just played like in like not even leagues, just like random matches? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's switch gears, uh, and why don't we jump into a uh, draft? What kind of draft do you do? You do um, do you Phantom? Go to the leagues? Huh? You uh, the leagues? Yes, right there. Okay. Do they have it where you can draft without doing a league? 